when I say this girl, this MC, this main character, this protagonist is a weenie, I mean she is a weenie. My goodness. We're back again to play some games. What else do we do? Today we're back to play Dangerous Fellows or episode Episode 4 right now? Right now? And we are on episode 4. The game was on chapter 6. <laughs> I mean episode 6. So last episode I think I need something. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember what happened. Scar tried to kill me last episode by sending me somewhere I didn't need to go. And now we're locked in this room and now we need to get out, so... I went around the classroom to see if there was anything useful. What are you doing? Drew looks at me, worried. I can't just sit and wait around here. I squeeze myself into the pile of chairs and desk. If there's something, it must be somewhere I haven't checked yet. After looking through the floor and walls, I felt half desperate to put my hand in the desk drawer. I put my hand in one and go through it. No matter how many times I try, all I get in my... No matter how many times I try, all I get in... Oh my goodness. <laughs> no matter how many times I've tried, all I get is balls of dust. I take my hand out and try the next one. Huh? Something solid and thin right in my hand. Perfect! What did you get? I waved the metal ruler above my head to show Judy. Huh? Isn't that a ruler? I shook the dust off my hand and walked over to the door. I stuck the ruler through the gate between the door and the door frame. I shook the end of the ruler till it hit something and stuck inside. Is it working? I gave her a nod. I gave her a nod and continued shaking the ruler through the door. There's something in there. I tried poking and swirling and finally pushing it really hard. Wham. It feels like something hit the floor on the other side of the door. I quickly grabbed the ruler and carefully gave the door a push. Please, whoosh. It opens. Yay! She excitedly runs out into the hall. I follow her back in worry. I follow her back and worry. First of all, there's nothing dangerous in the hallway. So was that thing blocking the door? My eyes follow where Judy points. I see a wood panel lying on the just. <sighs> I'm telling you. Scarlet. My eyes follow where Judy points. I see a wood panel lying on the floor. How did this even get here? Someone put it there. Scarlet's face passes through my mind. And are you going to confront her about it? I bet she's not going to. No, she wouldn't have... No, she couldn't have done this. Why not? Why do you think she couldn't have done this? After everything she's already done what's your reason I want to know what is your reason why do you think she couldn't have done this <sighs> it might have been a pure coincidence is everyone still a No, she couldn't have done this. It could have been a coincidence. Really? Really? There's a wood. There was a piece of wood blocking your door. And you don't think it's Scarlet after everything she's done to us? She tried to get us kicked out. Well, first, first she said I was bitten. I was infected. She tried to get us kicked out. She sent me. To a place where I could have been killed. I could have got killed. And she's just been playing. She's just been disrespectful towards me the whole entire time. 
And you don't think she did it because it could have been a coincidence? When I say this girl, this MC, this main character, this protagonist is a weenie, I mean she is a weenie. My goodness. Oh, okay. Let's just. <sighs> Is everyone else still asleep? I I don't know. Room one C. The main classroom is also used for meetings. This is where I first met everyone else. Some of the guys are already here. It doesn't seem much fair. It doesn't seem much far from here. But how come nobody? have heard us. Is this a setup? Something crossed my mind, but I decided not to suspect them. I looked out of the window, I can see the shadow of zombies over the fence. Hey, what are you thinking about? Hey walks over to me and also notices the shadows outside. They could be my neighbors, but probably passed, but they could be my neighbors who probably passed by on the street. Yeah, you probably even knew some of them. Hey ladies, let's not get too sentimental. They ain't gonna help us anyway, you know. Eugene closes the drapes over the windows. I was looking at me. It's not just some, it's not just being sentimental. This means she's still a human, isn't she? We brought some food. The boys walk in with bread and candy bars and lay them out on the desk. Maybe that's maybe that's why no one could hear us. They were pre preparing breakfast. Everyone grabbed their chair, grabbed a chair, and take a seat around the food. Morning, every morning. Everyone doing all right? No. Y yep. <laughs> yep. Other than the one little thing that's still. I'm gonna uppercut you, okay? She's like a skinny little stick. I can break her. <sighs> Other than that one little thing that still bugs me, I'm good. Ugh, she's just so unbelievable. Let's make this a breakfast meeting for today then. Since we've done patrolling outside last night, how about we patrol inside the school today? What about the key? Right, we'll try unlocking some of the rooms while we're on patrol. She'll be in charge of that. Me? Lawrence waves at me. I gave him an awkward smile, jiggling the keys in the air. This is so pointless, it's just a waste of time. You're a waste of time. I'm sure we can find some useful resources. It's better than patrolling outside. So where are we supposed to try this key? The teacher's lounge on the fifth floor. The library, the storage room in the gym, and the snack bar. Don't forget the, bra the broadcasting room. Wow, there's quite a few. Yeah. Should we try the library first then? I make suggestion, hoping that I'll be able to find something to read there. Anybody want to come with me? I noticed Eugene grabbed Zion's arm and raised it up. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What? I thought you wanted to go. To the library? Me? He knows he don't read. Zion flips out at Eugene and Eugene snickers as if this is all too funny. Despite the bickering, these two seem pretty close. Looks like you two are good to go. Let's pair up the rest of you then. Lawrence erupts the meeting up on Zion's stairs <laughs> as if he can't believe what just happened. Fine, whatever. It doesn't seem so bad. Just a tad bit intimidating. But I guess it's still better than going by myself. The meeting continues to everyone's assigned a partner in areas to patrol. After breakfast, everyone flits up to the areas and they've been assigned to. Zion, coming? You coming? Except for this guy. What's with the long face? Oh, I see. You want someone else for your partner, huh? Oh yeah, I'm not rude. Haha, <laughs> no way. Come on, let's go. I'm not saying anything. 
why am mm. Haha, <laughs> come on, away, let's go. Am I gonna be rude? Yeah, he, he's he, he's not strapped, but he's got a pole, a metal pipe, whatever. So I'm good with him. With an awkward smile, I walked past by him. I walked past him. Hey, is this way, dummy? Dang, dang! I turned back and fell behind him. I hate the silence. What should I say? Um. So, do you mess with the war? No, sorry. Um. So, look like you're doing some reading. Um. So, look, look. <laughs> Ooh. Um. So, looks like you don't like reading much, huh? What's, what's the fun with it? I don't like it when the story ends the way I don't want. Yeah, it's true. I guess choosing the right book is like gambling in that sense. Some of my friends actually start with the ending first. That's more practical. That's what I do. <laughs> but you still spoil the enjoyment of twist endings if you read it that way. I'm not really big on those twists anyway. We continue our chit chat on our way to the library. Is this it? Can't you read English? Zion points his finger to the sign on the wall. I'm just asking, geez. Oh, am I starting to get on your nerves, boy? Zion snickers as he gives me a full few pushes at the door. As he gives a, Zion snickers as he gives a few pushes at the door. The door rattles. Hey, try the key. I didn't like his tone with me, but I decided to let it go and took out the key from my pocket. Oh, there's a lot more comic books in there. <laughs> this is a school library, Zion. I don't think comics are appropriate here. There better be some comics. What's wrong with comics? They're, they're as educational as regular, but that's what they, I agree. I agree fully. I got a manga right here. I got a manga over there. This, this camera is up on some manga. I agree. They're educational as regular books, don't you think? I let his question I let his question unanswered and insert the key into the keyhole. I turn it slowly with a bit of hope it doesn't move. Man, what a bummer. I still think we can break down these doors pretty easily, like uh, if this was real life. I think those doors come down pretty easily. Man, what a bummer. I guess you really want those comics, huh? Well, don't, didn't you pick this library hoping to find something to read for yourself? I'm surprised to learn that he knew why I had picked the library. Oh! What was that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you hear that? Hey, you can't just ignore it. Did you see that? What the heck was that? I heard something. Of course you did. Come on. <laughs> Don't be like that. <laughs> it's scary. Although Zion sounds unconcerned, I can tell he's looking around very carefully. See? There's nothing there. Boy, I promise you something just flew past my screen. <laughs> well, that's a relief then. Haha. <laughs> he doesn't look relieved though. I see why. Just because you don't see it, it doesn't mean it's not there. Let's just leave. Boy. Oh my goodness. I hesitated for a bit and soon decided to follow him. Oh. I got puzzle piece. Uh, follow him. Oh. Oh, critical. What does that mean? Does it mean. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> does that mean my choices, like, really matter? Okay, let's do it. Critical. Okay, let's let's buckle down and get serious. No jokes. <laughs> so, the key wasn't for the library. I was hoping we could burn those books to keep warm in here. Scarlet's face scrunches as if she, as if Scarlet's face scrunches as if the doesn't want to hear. See, I feel like I can't read, but I think. I think it's there's a lot of typos. 
Scarlet's face scrunches as if the doesn't want to hear about the bad news. And see, it's not me. It's not me. It's, it's a game. I can read. <laughs> I guess she doesn't care about the key after all. Yeah, it's too bad, but it's too early to be upset. Come on, you guys. We've still got a chance. He smiles and pats my shoulder. It's so comforting and encouraging. Don't touch me. He doesn't lot he didn't lose his composure even in such a devastating situation. His kind words assure me to never lose hope. I smile at Lawrence and he's absolutely right. We really got many places we've still got many places left. Where we haven't where haven't we been yet? What happened to the screen? Why you go like that? The teachers lounge on the fifth floor. The library, the storage room and the gym and the snack bar as well. Don't forget to broadcast Oh, it's because of the memory. Okay, so we still got four or more places left. Oh, wait. Maybe we have to choose which place I want to go to. But if I don't go with somebody, will they get... Okay, anyway. I'm thinking too much. If the key doesn't fit in any of this room, maybe we can try it in the with the lockers in the hall. I mean, there must be something to fit in. And if we're lucky, we might find the key to the library and... All of a sudden, it recalled to me that this happened in front of the library and it gives me the goosebumps. So I don't tell me that there was nothing, but I couldn't stop imagining the worst thing. That there might be someone else. The thinking of it gives me shiver. What's wrong? Are you okay? Harry checks on me and the others turn their heads back. Don't look at me. She's always gotta be in the set. She's always gotta be the center of attention. I hear some of the grunts grumbling from the back, but I try to ignore them. Just ignore her. She's still obsessed with those books in the library. No, that isn't really true. Oh yeah? What's wrong with you then? Everybody's so rude. <laughs> Zion's supposed to be helping me. I thought we were boys. Not really, but I thought me and Zion were boys, but he's not helping me at all. Did something happen when you guys were on patrol? Uh, I pondered a few music. See, oh, this game is so frustrating because why is she being like that? We are in a zombie apocalypse, okay? A zombie apocalypse. I cannot afford to keep stuff hidden from people, especially when it might be a zombie in the freaking school or an intruder in school i cannot afford to not tell people that i'm gonna get somebody killed out here my goodness i pondered a few minutes and i shook my head no i think it's just too exhaust i'm just too exhausted you know with everything happening around here i spoke clear to make sure everyone grumbled at the back hears me if you say so well, promise me you'll tell us when anything's up. Okay, I promise. Already broken. At that moment, Eugene raises his arm to get everyone's attention. Are we done talking? I think we should take a break at this point. Yeah, I was about to say that. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm sleepy. Alright, then let's take a break. Yay! Judy jumps around excited like a kid. Seeing her being so cheerful like this kind of loosens my anxiety as, as well. Alright, I'm gonna take a nap. Zion taps on my back on his way out. Stay out of trouble, kid, and just try to relax, alright? So, so now we boys. Mm. I'm off too. What was she? <laughs> she said. I'm off too. Adios. Zion leaves the room and the other guys followed him out. Julie walks over to me. Where are you up to now? I think I'm gonna get some rest for myself. I just, I had trouble to sleep last night. Hmm? I mean, um? Oh, um? <laughs> um, I thrust my hands in my pocket where the key was. I was wondering, I was wondering to walk around. You know, I had to get used to this place. Oh, would you mind if I tag along with you? I thought you were sleepy, Judy. You don't necessarily have to. You need some rest, Judy. It's only going to be quick. 
It's only me a quick stroll up and down the hallway, that's all. Okay, don't get lost. Come on, Judy. I'm not five years old, you know. I tried to relieve her with a smile, but in truth, I couldn't get away from the icky feeling that I've been through this. I've gone through in the library. Maybe I'm just overreacting. As long as I stay away from the cafeteria, nothing will happen. There's still a small group of people chatting in the corner of the classroom. I walk over to the door quietly, trying not to disturb them. Let me see. I think I should check the lockers first. The teacher's lounge and the gym are too far away from here, and I have no idea where the snack bar or the broadcasting room is. Even if I knew where they are, I shouldn't be wandering around on my own. Judy will freak out if she finds out. I decide to check on the lockers in the hallway. I really wish that I could find a locker that fits with my key, but... <sighs> the keyholes at least are way too small for my key. Well, can't give up like this. When I'm on it, I must I must find where the key actually fits. While I'm at it, you mean? I encourage myself and walk down the stairs. Oh, this is where all the homerooms are. I, was, I took a peek into one of the classrooms. What I witnessed was a nightmare. The chairs and desks were not over everywhere. And the torn books and bags scattered across the floor. I was able to imagine the classroom filled with horror and the terrified students rushing off to live. It's all because of the unknown virus. If such a thing didn't happen, I would have been seizing my day as usual in class with my loving friends. I wonder where they are, and mom, I hope she's safe somewhere. We were supposed to go out for dinner that night. I clenched my fists and shook my head. It's not the time to be emotional right now. I gotta stay strong. <laughs> I must survive until the end. That's the only way to meet them again. As if I was about to take a step forward. <laughs> Swoosh. Oh my god, there's something in here. Who's gonna kill me? A strange noise comes from the stairs. I was too horrified to turn around and ask who's there. The fear I felt at the library kept up my spine again. <sighs> oh my goodness. The closer it approaches, the faster my head beats. My heart beats. My heart's pounding crazy that I could almost hear it. All I could do was holding all I could do was hold my breath and see what was gonna happen next. I felt regretful. I shouldn't have refused Judy when she asked to come with me. <sighs> no, there's no time for it. Shoulda woulda coulda. <laughs> There must, there must be a good hiding spot here. Oh gosh. I grabbed my fists and counted down from three. Three, two, one. I started dashing as fast as I could. No matter what I heard from behind, I never looked back. Whoever the thing is, I can't let it catch me. I kept running until I reached the corner. As I made a turn around the corner, I saw an open door. Oh! Scarlet better not be there. Without any hesitation, I rushed inside to it. I looked around the classroom. I thought I catch my breath. And I almost screamed out in terror when I saw the scene with my eyes open. It was a horrifying scene. I could smell the heavy scent of blood with my nose. The chairs and desks were scattered around the floor and blood stains were everywhere. Something terrifying must have happened here in the mor in the morning. Maybe someone in the class was here not realizing they had been infected and it was too late when they found out. Let's forget about it. It's too dark to think about. Oh my goodness! That noise is approaching faster. I made sure the door at the back was closed and then silently closed the front door, which I had passed through. But the door lock wasn't working, so it can't be. <laughs> no, it can't be broken. No, the door lo lock isn't working. No, it can't be broken. Oh, please. I prayed for a miracle, but nothing happened. 
Is it gonna find me if I don't hurry? Gotta hide somewhere real quick. Please don't get me to, please don't make me have to choose. Ah. As soon as I heard the door open, I threw my body into the door to hold it as hard as I could. I can't let this thing come in, whatever it is. It's shaking the door even hard. If it, if it was somebody that I know, why aren't they talking to me? They could be like, Which, let me in, it's just me. But because it's not talking, I don't know what this is. It's shaking the door even harder. It seems it's not giving up easily. Gosh, I wish I could hold it. I wish I could hold it onto it longer. I can almost feel it break, breathing through the crack. Hold on, do zombies breathe? What if it's not a zombie? Door rattles. Wherever you are, please go away. It stops shaking the door. Instead, it starts scratching the door, making unbearable horrifying. Is it a dog? I don't know. <laughs> I can't hold it anymore, but I have to. My arms begin to shake. I can feel anything on my legs either. Gotta stay focused, otherwise I'll lose my strength and it'll force itself inside. Change the outfit. I don't have enough money to change the outfit. <laughs> why, why would it ask me that? Um, Continue the story. I don't have any... Yeah, I don't have enough money. <laughs> Continue to stay. Ignore. Am I gonna die? However, my second our circumstances here were worse than ever. It was freezing here and I couldn't stand longer. Ugh. While holding the door onto the door with every last bit of my strength, I could turn my head and look back. I took a quick glance around the classroom to see if there was anything out useful. I couldn't really think of any good ideas with such a, in such a terrible situation. For a moment when I'm about to lose it, skirt! I mean, <laughs> squeak! The scratching on the door begins again. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. I bit my lips and tried to endure the horrifying noise, but I couldn't bear to cry. What was I thinking coming out here all by myself? I should have been stay I should have stayed with everyone. Or at least asked Julie to come with me. Then me and Judy would both be dead. What what good can come out of this? Regret. Working nothing regret worked nothing in this situation. I gotta focus on what can be done now. Oh my goodness, what is trying to get to me? Ugh. The door starts shaking once more with a loud bang. This time, it's hell bent on opening the door. My arm begins to tremble and my fingers went numb. What if I can't hold this door anymore? And it, and it finally gets in here. Am I going to die here? Probably. Suddenly, it falls silent. Did I just did it give up and leave? I put my ear against the door. It was dead quiet in the hallway. I've made it. I made it go away. Mm, don't let go. So my legs gave out and almost collapsed on the floor. The door suddenly opens with a huge slam and it knocks me over as it astonished me. But there's no time to see what just happened. Someone just walked in. Gosh, what's gonna happen to me now? Someone just walked in. I hit my body behind the desk and covered up my mouth and nose to make sure it didn't it won't hear any me it I hit my body behind the desk and covered my mouth and noise to make sure it doesn't hear me breathing. However, surprisingly, nothing happened. I slowly stood up and looked around. There was no sign of anything. We got ghosts and zombies? I walked around I walked towards the front door and it was wide open. I stuck my head out of the door to check the hallway. There was nothing. It's strange. I mean I'm glad nothing happened. But I'm certain someone walked in. This whole idea of exploring was a mistake. I'll never be on my own ever again. <sighs> okay. <laughs>
<laughs> what was that? And why do you want me to switch outfits? For 450 diamonds? And I only have 15 diamonds? I only have 15 diamonds? That's not happening. Um, so that was scary. <laughs> I really thought I was gonna die because I didn't have that other outfit. Um, so that was a critical. What made it critical though? What made it critical? The outfit? But it didn't do anything. Anyway. <laughs> Forget that. Um. So I'm done right now. So next time we'll come back with episode 7. And I still think it was Scarlet who put to lock this in the room. I don't know why my character didn't think that was her, but I think there's a good a good chance it was. <laughs> but yeah, um What else? Yeah, that's that's it. So anyway, I will see you guys next week, hopefully. And we'll see. Hopefully we can figure out next time what was chasing me. And who what was chasing me, who started that fire, and who freaking locked me in my room. So we need we need to solve who did that next episode. <laughs> hopefully so anyway i'll see you guys next week don't forget to like and subscribe and bye